Good afternoon, everybody. Today in this video, I want to share with you guys um, an insight that I had about building GPTs. I'm going to share with you how I came to this insight. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of a feature coming to the Systems Accelerator Manager. Technically, it's already in there, but uh, you don't have access to it yet. So without further ado, let's dive in, and I'm going to show you guys my mental path, right? So this is the Systems Accelerator Manager, um, and if you have not yet, gotten the opportunity uh, to dive into the Systems Accelerator Manager. It is designed specifically for real estate agents, and it helps generate and create the resources you need for your business that are custom to you. They're going to be written to sound like you, and they're going to be doing it three times faster than you could if you were using other AI tools like ChatGPT. So that is the value proposition. Now, if you have not um, yet scroll to the description and go claim a 14 day free trial get in here start building some stuff that's my pitch right but uh inside the systems accelerator manager um in the integration tab i have a new feature for you guys now i will dive into this feature much much more in depth later but what i'm gonna uh, show you guys today is just a glimpse at um, what it is and why this applies to gpt so Currently, it's called SamChat, and uh, what you do is you throw in your website, and uh, you hit this copy script to clipboard. Now, once you've copied your script to clipboard, you go into your website, and under the edit section, under the header area, you just throw in that little script that it gives you. Now, this is an encrypted script, so it doesn't really matter. You can look at it. You're not going to be able to grab anything from it, but... Uh, you throw that into your header, you publish it, and then what happens, and this is a website that I built just so that I can make sure that it works, uh, but what happens is on the bottom right-hand side, I now have SamChat, and what SamChat is designed to do is help with your lead generation process. Now, what do real estate agents always need better uh, help with lead generation, right? Everyone wants more leads. That's, uh, that's how we grow our business. And so what SamChat is going to be doing is it's going to be living on your website. It's going to be pulling information from the generations and the content you create inside the Systems Accelerator Manager, as well as context about you and your business and your writing style to help those leads as they visit you on your website. So it is going to have context into how to help you. Um, and essentially, it's going to be working to nurture your leads, to give them uh, valuable information. And it's going to be doing that while you're zooming from meeting to meeting, you're working with clients, you're delivering that world-class client experience, and it's going to be doing it without you having uh, to hire uh, a customer success person um, or anything like that. Now, in another life, I worked as a customer success agent for a tech company, and it took me about a year to even learn the software well enough to be able to help people, though it was my full-time job. And the nuance behind SamChat is I can train it with information about my company, and then it's going to have that knowledge base, and it doesn't have to spend an entire year revving up. We don't have to teach an assistant who's going to be helping with their with your customers or leads. Um, we don't have to teach them about our specific niche or um, specific expertise in real estate. We can just let it go because it's using the information inside of the Systems Accelerator Manager. So that is Sam Chat, right? So hold that, put a little page in it. We'll dive into it later. But on the back end, you are taking what is the Systems Accelerator Manager and all the information it has about your company, your brokerage, and your team member specifically, right? It's currently pulling it. And then it's also taking all of the context from your saved generation. So it has all these documents. Now, my next step with this is to build it out so that you can upload specific documents. Sounds like GPT, right? So this is the, the bridge, right? So within the Systems Accelerator Manager, uh, we have all of those abilities to upload documents. Now, let's jump over to ChatGPT. And I currently have created two GPTs. 
One is for lead generation, and one is the systems accelerator manager built as a GPT. And in both of these, I did something that I feel like I need to share with you guys, and I didn't even realize it until today. Truthfully, I was watching a video that's training me on how to sell or how to better articulate the value proposition for SamChat, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Um, so when we go to create a new GPT, now we can create it, we could go right to the configure, and the instructions are important, the name, description, instructions, but there's something else that is equally as important, and that is the knowledge base. So what the knowledge base is inside of your GPT, that is the documentation that the GPT is using to focus its understanding. Now it's using chat GPT's uh, knowledge base from all of the information, but this is specific knowledge that it's using. And any document that you upload, it's going to have the ability to look through and understand and sequence when it's helping answer questions and create things. But if we don't focus that, we are not actually maximizing its ability. So what does that mean? Well, essentially what uh, this means is if I upload thousands of pages of random documents, this GPT does have access to that, but it's going to take so much processing power for it to think through all of those thousands of pages of random documents, and we're not going to get as highly focused responses. So it's not going to be as helpful as it possibly could be. But if we start thinking about, okay, what is the specific goal of this GPT? Cool. What specific documents help me achieve that specific goal? Or of all my documents that I have, what specific areas, subsections of those documents are going to help with this specific GPT? Do you see where I'm going with this? So an example would be in my SAM, the system accelerator manager, or system accelerator for lead generation, if I uploaded a document that was specifically covering the lead generation process for a real estate agent, Sam's going to be able to pull that information and help with the lead generation process. Now, if I uploaded a marketing 101, how to thousand pages or more document, it's got good information in it, I'm sure, but I'm sure a lot of that is also not going to be focused for real estate agents looking for lead gen. Do you kind of understand where I'm going with this? So when we're building out these GPTs, the knowledge that we impart into them is just as important as the instructions. And I don't know that anyone's really talking about this. I actually, after having this insight, was like, I have to share this with these people because you guys, I guarantee, are out there building GPTs that are helping you in your business. But maybe they could be helping just a little bit more. And truthfully, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to spend a little time this afternoon and I'm going to review all the documents inside of the GPTs I've built, make sure that it's the right focus. Because if we don't have properly focused GPTs, man, we're just, we're leaving things on the table is what we're doing. So making sure that we have the best data or info needed to help that specific GPT with that focus is going to be how uh, we're able to really hone these GPTs. And this is kind of the big concept. This is, you know, it's funny to me because this is exactly what I did inside the systems accelerator manager. I'm, I'm pulling specific information and I'm using it in the chat bot. Well, we need to do that with our GPTs too. That's kind of the crux of this video. Um, I really wanted to share it with you guys because light bulb moment for me. Hopefully it has been for you too. And if you are interested in taking a look at the Systems Accelerator Manager, if the idea of adding a chatbot with literally one line of code that gets plugged into your header is appealing or interesting to you to help you with your lead generation efforts, go ahead, scroll to the description down, go to sam.workflowsecrets.info and grab a trial. Um, 14 days, no credit card, nothing like that needed. Get into the system, start building those resources and really see how the Systems Accelerator Manager can help you in your business. And other than that, that's what I've got. 
Hopefully this gives you some better context for how we can focus our GPTs. Like I said, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. We're really, um, you know, we're really new into the GPT world, but um, I wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully that helps. But otherwise, I will see you very soon.